UFC featherweight, Ricardo Hamos, what's going on? It's been a long minute since we talked last, but, uh, you know, it's good to get you back on and see your face. How have you been? Hey, exactly, yeah. Uh, I'm, I have been uh, really good. Uh, like we, we just say, like, strange times. Mm -hmm. And we, we are just trying to uh, reinvent ourselves and try to learn something from this situation. And here we are. What, what do you think you've learned in the last maybe six months or so from being in this situation, the coronavirus era? Well, uh, I, I think I, I learned a lot of things. Like uh, the first thing is to think uh, uh, about the others, you know, like we got to think more about the others because this situation we we have to understand that it's not only about our uh, health, our uh, stuff, you know, and we got to just make for the others. Don't, you know, like we have to stay home and do a lot of things, not only for us, but for other people too. So we are talking about love. We are talking about a lot of things that we got to learn. Like, uh, like for me, now I'm more tight to my family, uh, I had to uh, make more connections with my family, you know, and I used to be like always out of home training uh, in somewhere, and it's been different, like now I'm a family guy, you know, it's different <laughs> for me right now, so there's some of the things that I, I have been learning from this uh, pandemic stuff. That's great to hear. You know, outside of fighting, uh, if you're able to grow more as a person, it's always a good thing. Yeah, exactly. I, I always like try to reinvent myself, try to make myself better, you know, and stay home and be a, like a full time at home make you think a lot. So if you if so, everybody's not learning something, it's better you start, you know, uh, start like uh, ask yourself, like, what do you really uh, are doing here, you know? And I feel like after the this situation, I will be for sure a different man in the, for, for me, I will be a different man for sure. All right. Well, let's go back to your last fight, your first fight yep. at featherweight in the UFC, Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo is your home is, is it your hometown? No, uh, I live in Sao Paulo, but now I'm in Campinas. It's one hour from Sao Paulo. It's okay. in the Sao Paulo. So but, basically, uh, basically. Yeah, yeah, basically. So uh, now I'm in, in, in my uh, hometown with, uh, in my mother's house. And uh, when all the situation is gone, I will come back to California for, for training, you know. Okay. Okay. So your your fight, your last fight, last November was in Sao Paulo. First yeah. round submission win, performance bonus. It's always good to get that money, right? Was there anything <laughs> that uh you didn't like about the fight, or or did it go perfect for you? Well, like for me, it's always like uh, I always have something to improve. And uh, if is uh, if the fight was really good, something like uh, in the backstage like for my cutting weight or something that I got to just look and, and see if I have to make better. It's not, you know, like the fight is only a, a, a simple moment, only a, a short moment, you know? And uh, I have a bunch of stuff to, to make better before the fight. And if I just try to think about all these things in my training camp, uh, I will be like, uh, a lot of, with a lot of stress in, on my mind, so I always try, try to make my my try to be like very positive on my training camps, and after my my fights, I always talk with all my coaches, with my uh, the, the people that helped me with my my career, and I always uh, ask them what we can do to make better. Always we can make better, so why not? Where did you feel the biggest effect, you know, for you lies at featherweight? Is it your strength, your endurance, or is it your mind? Well, like for in featherweight, I, I have felt a lot better. Like, uh, 
I feel I felt like the the cutting weight was the the hardest part because I thought the because I was in a in a, um, in a division like in a up division I was not going to be like uh, my body was not going to be like too hard to cutting this weight you know but I felt a little bit uh, hard hard on this uh, last cut weighting and I felt that I, I had to to make my cutting weight better for the next time and now I'm working on my diet and you know always when you do something uh, new it's uh, something that you you gotta like feel and see how, how you're gonna feel that and and just uh, learn from this situation for the next you make better but uh, for sure, that's one of the learns that I, I got from this, the last one. Uh, and now I, I did the adjustments and I my body's way better for this one, for sure. After that fight, you went back to uh, California to train and then the pandemic hit. Talk about those couple of weeks. Yeah, exactly. I, well, for me, it was perfect. Like. I was expecting to fight on the on the beginning of two, uh, 2020, but uh, you know everybody had to change uh, the, the plans, you know. But I was I was very very uh, happy with my my beginning in this uh, this year, and I had a lot of uh, I I really felt that I level up, you know. Uh, I really felt that. My body really uh, liked the idea to to don't don't need to to be doing like diet every time to make my my weight like low, you know, and I could like just reach my my you know my top you know reach my uh, all my level that I can I can make you know. So I felt a lot a lot better on the, on the training, and I could. Uh, make a lot of uh, new adjustments for for my diet for my uh, trainings my strategy everything changed because before I cannot like put all my my strength and and conditioning on the fight because I, I was not too confident to you know to just put a hundred percent a hundred percent on the fight because I was afraid because my my to get tired, you know, and now I, I don't feel like like that anymore. So I just can go and don't think about it, you know. So you you've gained more confidence after the fight, training and getting used to your body. Did you put on a little bit more size for for featherweight? Yeah, okay. I did a, a, a some. Uh, I crossed my trainers with the UFCPI, mm -hmm. and they they gave me a, a new training program. And that completely changed my, my, my life and my, my, trainings, my training camps, you know. I have to say thank you for, for uh, Matt Crowley. He's a really good uh, coach, uh, conditioning coach. And he's, he's out, we are always talking and, and uh, changing the program and making the best program for, for my, my body, for my training camp, you know. And... I, like I, I felt like after I get I get on this division uh, I could like feel how I, I really gonna I really gonna perform on the on the fights and uh, for sure like after my last fight I was just just flowing out on the cage not you know afraid to to get tired and that makes made me made me a lot of confident for for the for the fights you know when the pandemic hit you were in the u.s you decided to go back to brazil do you kind of regret going back to brazil because the they have had so many events in vegas right now and you were training out there or are you comfortable with the decision you made no i'm comfortable because we we was like we didn't know what what was going to happen you know so the best choice on on that time was to be close to my family, close to my friends. I have a lot of friends in, in US too, but I had to save money too. So for sure it was the best choice to make on, on that time. 
and also about my visa i was with my uh, uh tourist visa so i could not uh fight anyway so i i had to come back anyway when you took those tests at the pi and work and you work in with these coaches right um what when you got the results from the test and what did anything shock you where you're like whoa this is not good or this yeah. is good you know i don't know that, that was perfect that was great uh mm -hmm. honestly um uh, i had a, like a coach that he he always said to me like hey man you gotta you gotta you gotta always look for uh the science you know you gotta see the science uh you know and i always say no i just gotta train i just gotta you know put all my head on the fight and after I see all the numbers and all the, the 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 results, I understand what we he was talking about to me, you know. And now I'm a, a different man. I'm always trying to learn more about the the sports science, and uh, I feel that's really really good for me and worse for my opponents because if I got on this level, like doing what I I was doing. They and now that I have all this program and I'm training really, uh, I'm doing the right training right now. They are fucking man, <laughs> really. They are sorry for the for the language, but yeah, that's how I feel. Okay. You know, that's, that's now good. I that's train great. like I, I should be doing. You know. All right. Now, was that your last fight on your contract, the one in November? And because I saw you re-signed with the UFC, did you test free yeah. agency or anything? Like what? Sorry. Test free agency. Did you talk with other promotions or did you just was was the goal no. just sign with the UFC yeah. again? Yeah, I just re-signed with uh, with the UFC. Yeah, uh, I I I posted because uh, that's a really good thing for me because um, when I was uh, twenty, when I I, I had had my first loss. Uh, I had a conversation one with one of my coaches, and I said, "Man, I don't believe that I'm gonna get in UFC because I'm uh, 20, 20. I was 20 years old, I think. And uh, and uh, I said to him, "Man, I think I will be in UFC with 25, 26 years old, and uh, I got on UFC with 21." And now I'm 24 and I'm resigning for my third contract with UFC. And that was really good for me. That was like a, a really, you know, I, I really like it. I really like where I, what, where I got it, you know. And that's, that's a, a good moment for me to look back and see how I was thinking before and where I am right now, you know. In your hometown, are you the only one? In the UFC? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't. Yeah, I'm the only one from Campinas that is, uh, is in, in UFC. But I think they have like someone training right here. I'm not sure, but they have a girl that is training in a gym right here. But she's not from here. She's okay. from other uh, state, but she, she trained right here. Well, that's that's great that you're you're the only one from your hometown. You know that you represent exactly. for your hometown. Exactly. I'm. I will be the first uh, Campinero uh, <laughs> to be a UFC champ. <laughs> oh, definitely, definitely. Now, um, for this training camp, I see that you're at home. You said you're at your mother's house. You you built the gym for yourself. You're bringing yeah. in training partners, so it's a good environment, safe environment. How has training mm -hmm. been going for you? Well, it's it's going great, to be honest. Honestly, it's uh, really, really good. I feel like I had, uh, before I had no like extra trees uh, training or, or like, uh, I had a time that I had nothing to train, you know? So I did like some training camps that I had no uh, partners to, to make my training camp. And now we are, we are in a situation that everybody's is having to face the situation like, and everybody has something to, to, you know, to, to, uh, uh, like, everybody's in a situation that they like. They don't have like gyms and uh, partners to train. So I feel like 
I, 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 I don't leave it like a pandemic stuff, but I leave it like to be in a situation that you don't have like uh, too much for training. And, and now it's like very comfortable, comfortable for me, not comfortable, but I, I know how to do right now, you know? So for me, I don't need too much for training. I just needs like, uh, put my, my will on the, on the training and make my better. And with all this program and all the, the guys that I have right now, it's, it's really good for me. I don't need more than that. You know, I can make, uh, really good with what I have right now. I can make my better with all the, the things that I have right now because I know I had uh, less before and and I could make it really good too. So it's worse for them. <laughs> well, you're, you know, you signed the fight with uh, Laurent Murphy. Uh, when you got his name on the contract, did you expect to face someone at his level or did you expect a bigger name because you've been fighting in the ufc for many years now you know you you do have uh, some kind of hype behind you did you expect a bigger name for your next fight yeah i expected like uh i don't want uh, i don't want to like uh, uh say that uh, that's not a good fighter for me but i was expecting someone uh in the like in the not I don't know like someone uh, with uh, uh, someone better uh, like in the van like someone on the top you know uh, on the ranked but for me all the opponents are really good on the UFC and I don't care who I gonna fight I just need a fight I understand the time that we are living right now and he's a really good fighter and. I will be ready for him like I would be ready for anyone. And uh, for me, it doesn't matter the, the opponent. Uh, I, I'm always focused on my performance and how I will be performing, you know? And like for me, he's the UFC champ and I will take it, the, the, the belt from him, you know? That's how I think every fight. And that's how I, I, I'm doing my training camp. When you see someone like Gilbert Burns, he just yeah. fights anybody, anytime, mm -hmm. short notice, and now he's fighting for the title. Is that yeah. does that show to for, does that show you like maybe I should take that path? Maybe I should just fight whoever they bring to me, and then just try to take any fight possible. Do you is that kind of like something that you would want to do moving forward? Mm -hmm. No, no. I feel like we have a different ways to to get in the in the top. You know, I appreciate his uh, his style. He he is like a real savage, yeah. and uh, it works for him. You know, but I'm I, I'm a different style. You know, I like I I'm like uh, I'm sure that uh, uh, I could get a fight like with short time, but. I don't know, like, we got to see, and I, I don't have, like, only my mind uh, think about my career, you know. I have, like, my, uh, the paradigm, uh, my agen agency working for me, uh, working with me, and helping me to, to make the best decisions for my career. So before I, I get any decisions, I have, like, uh, a bunch of peoples that, will make it the, the decisions together, you know? And if they say that's a good fight because I accept every fight that I, they, they give to me, I never say, say no for a fight. I always say yes. You can ask Sean Shelby for that and, uh, and my, my manager. But that's why they, I have a, like a team behind me to, to help me with the decisions because I know I, I would be like, uh, maybe I would not be here if I didn't have them by my side, you know? So it's all about strategy, right? Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Like chess, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Now, yeah. going back to your opponent, Murphy, um, he only has one fight in the UFC. Did you check out that fight and, and what did you think about the, his debut? Yeah, his, like, uh, he fought uh, Zubair, uh, Zubaira, right? And... That that's one of the guys that the the name is that UFC gave me before this uh, before Murph, and I accepted the fight, but 
I, I, I don't know what happened, but Zubair could not get the fight. And uh, Murphy was the only option that UFC has for this uh, uh, July 15. And uh, I watched a lot of fights from my opponent. I saw his game. He's a good uh, striking guy. He's, he got a good boxing. And, uh, you know, he's, he got a, a ground game. Uh, like He's an MMA fighter. And uh, I'm working my BJJ, my, you know, my striking too. But I'm pretty sure that I can submit him and, and probably knock him out too. Uh, I will feel on the fight. I'm trying to work different, uh, trying to work for unpredictable uh, uh, fights and of unpredictable uh, opponents. And um, I'm not trying to focus on uh, my opponent's uh, game, you know. I'm trying to make my best to, to get my... Uh, my game uh, on on the on the on the fight, you know, to put my game on the fight. Uh, I have like a team that they are looking to my opponent, studying my opponent, and giving me all the you know the numbers and techniques that they they make it. And I just gotta perform, you know. So I feel like I make my mind clean to just perform. I just need to think about reach my best every training, every practice, I, I do that. And I feel like I have been doing really good and evolving a lot, trying to uh, make this this way, you know? You you say the finish is going to come. You don't know what the finish will be, submission, knockout. Do you see it early probably, or maybe later in the fight? Bar. Oh, what? the arm bar. <laughs> yeah, probably the arm bar. That's what I'm uh, visualizing every day, every night. Uh, and, uh, well, I, I have a feeling that this is a, a, a something that I can make it on this fight. Okay. I can get now, it. Are, are you flying out to Abu Dhabi like two weeks early? What Have the UFC talked to you about that yet? Not yeah, not yet. We are trying to, to get there before, but it's, it's kind of hard to, to make it because, I don't know, it's a lot of... Uh, uh, stuff to 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 see about the, the traveling they are really um, uh, it's a really different situation so probably I will get there like I don't know five days before the fight like uh, like everybody I don't feel like they let anyone uh, get there before what about the visa situation because uh... This weekend, Dan Hooker's fighting, right? And he just got his visa maybe a couple days before his uh, yeah. he was supposed to leave. What about you? Have you gotten your visa already, or is it just processing? Yeah, yeah I think the, the 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 visa for for Abu Dhabi is not uh, a hard stuff to get it. Uh, they are really uh, easy to get it, so it's not a problem. And I just gave some pictures and. And assign us some uh, documents, and it's it's good. We don't have to go to the uh, consulate and do the interview right there, and so it's pretty simple. What about Looks the the oh. coronavirus? The have you taken a coronavirus test, or is the UFC? I th I think I saw something about the UFC is going to send everybody a test kit before they go yeah. before they fly, right? Yeah, yeah I, I don't know yet, but uh, I didn't hear about that, but probably. Uh, but I, I'm thinking, uh, thank you, taking care about uh, all the stuff that I can make it. Mm -hmm. And if something happens on the travel or whatever, we cannot like uh, predict the the future. But I will make the, you know, make the take care, take my care, you know, uh, on the travel and try to to get there really safe. And I hope I I I, I do it, you know. <laughs> Well, it doesn't seem like fighters, right? They have they have really nothing to worry about because we've had a fighter get coronavirus, get cured, or I don't even know if it's cured, but get better, and then they just fought last weekend, so. Yeah. Well, like for me, it's not, it's not about me. Like, I, I don't care if I got a, the coronavirus. Like, I, I care, of course, but I, I care if I... If I, I pass the coronavirus for my mother, for, for anyone, you know. 
So that's that's the the thing that I'm I'm really afraid, you know, about coronavirus. To to give that for someone that cannot uh, cannot get this, you know, that is not strong enough to to just to just uh, kill this this shit, you know. So that's my my only the, my only uh, uh, the only thing that I'm afraid. So that's why I'm trying to make my training camp at my garage, doing like trainings on on the nature, like uh, far from from everyone. And I, I feel like that's the right choice to do right now. And when we we can like just uh, have like like the the uh, the the how do you call it? Sorry, like the it's not a if a sin. You what know, like oh, vaccine, yeah, 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 vaccine. Uh, so that that when we have this, we can like just uh, start come back to the normal life. But for now, that's how we we'll make it. Like all my training camps until we get done, with, until it's uh, over. You know. All right, July fifteenth, UFC Fight Island, Abu Dhabi. Ricardo, thank you so much for the time and uh, safe travels. You know, be safe, have a good fight, and uh, I'll get you back on here next time before you fight again, man. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, and be safe, everybody. Us.